It's something which I try to uh, combine modern contemporary elements in the addition to folkloric and old elements. Natural elements are something which is really inspiring. I think if you look at a flower or a leaf or a bird, it's always looking completely different. There is not a kind of a exact explanation how a flower should look like. It's something really artistic. It's something which you can um, create as your own um, creation. I work just in an analog style. I really work as a painter and actually that's what I really need to have the passion for my work. When I start working it's all about brushes, colors, backgrounds, patterns and all these things which I use with my hands. I really like to work in that style. The only digital thing is actually to, to scan the final work and send it over digital to the client. There is kind of a thin line sometimes between art and illustration, but of course free art is something completely different. And of course also I wouldn't consider myself only as an artist in the way of the art market. It's more that I think that I'm an artistic illustrator, but I also like the idea I'm coming from, that I was an illustrator working for assignments. And of course it gives me a lot of freedom to do my personal work, which also is kind of influencing my commercial work. And I think there is somehow a relationship between these two. Both somehow belong together and it's also very nice to get somehow an assignment to create an idea out of a text you're reading, out of an article you have to illustrate, which is also one of the most enjoyable parts of being an illustrator. But then again, you also enjoy doing your own creation, doing your own work without any uh, commercial background. symbolic element as well, which I'm aware of, but then again I'm also trying to create my own symbols out of them. It's not that I'm just trying to uh, uh, interpret some kind of old symbols. This is an own mix of symbols I'm trying to create. For me it's always funny because I'm working for so many international clients and have so many international representatives to see the difference of each market. And if I work for example for America, people call you an artist. When they call my agency they say I would love to work with this artist. And uh, there is a big difference for example if you work uh, for Germany people would call you an illustrator. But this is not only the case, but it's just like something, it depends on the creative uh, tradition of each country. And I think there are countries where you really could work in a more artistic way than in other countries. It's somehow something which you also have to learn in, in your career as an illustrator. I have nothing against the word romantic because somehow it's kind of a nice idea. But I would say I'm actually really um, touched by beauty, of course. 